Good morning, friends. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, everybody who follows me on my 50 American Phrase Acquisition mission and just about anybody else. If you happen to have tuned in to my YouTube channel or on my blog for the first time, I'm Robbie. I'm a fluency mentor. A few years ago, I was a struggling English speaker, but now I can speak fluently, largely thanks to my frequent spoken English practice with myself and that's what I'm doing currently right now I'm speaking in front of a camera but it's essentially speaking on my own and it's a great way of exercising your spoken English and now I'm learning American phrases and which is all part of the Fluency Gym Coach program I set a goal for myself I told myself listen Robbie you're going to learn 50 new phrases in 25 days and today I'm learning phrase number 25 Yes, I'm almost halfway through the mission, 25 marks halfway, exactly halfway, 25 is half of 50, obviously, and uh, today's phrase is the following. It begins with, I just, then followed by whatever needs to be said, and the very end of the sentence is, is all. And this is, I suppose, a very typical American thing. Anyway, these phrases are all kind of American, but there's a very fine line between American and uh, just general English because American English has permeated general English all around the world, you know, largely thanks to the media influence and Hollywood movies and all that kind of thing, so you can't really draw a very distinct line between American and non-American, you know what I mean? I would say that 99% of English, which is branded as American, is actually understood all over the world and even very distinct American expressions would, would still be understood in other places on the planet for the simple reason that English is English no matter where you go, you know what I mean? It's the same language. Yes, certainly there are different things that like very regional things that wouldn't be understood elsewhere and people would be struggling to get very local expressions but by and large it will be understood wherever you go and that's one of the reasons why you can learn these American phrases and you can rest assured that even if you go to the UK or Australia or Ireland you'll be still understood you needn't worry about that right and going back to today's phrase I just is all this phrase is very handy when you have to explain yourself you are accused of something and if you feel unfairly treated right then your line of defense, a text line of defense, that's what I meant, right? Is I just, and then explain your action, is all. And that is all part kind of means, and that's all. Nothing else happened. I just did. That is all, right? And uh, here's a typical example. Your mom co comes home from work and she's telling you, why is your little sister crying? What, what did you do to her? And you're saying, I just told her not to touch my laptop because it's mine is all, right? I just told her not to touch my laptop is all. And uh, it's a perfect example, right? You're just saying, I just, then followed by the explanation of what happened and uh, finish it off by saying that it's no big deal, is all. And here's another example. We've all heard of those parties where hundreds of people converge into a house and basically destroy it because there's been a party announcement posted on Facebook, right? Or on some other social media outlet. But obviously Facebook is the biggest one and the only one that uh, has any significance, really. So when people say, and other social media platforms or websites, what do they really mean? Facebook is really the only one that we... We need to be really concerned about, you know what I mean? But anyway, we have heard those stories. A person publishes an announcement, but it's not for some reason or another. They don't make it restricted to their friends only, but it's obvious, it's visible for everyone. And then somehow the word leaks out and uh, hundreds of youths converge onto that place, you know. And the typical scenario involves parents being away and those people are just converging onto a big mansion, onto a millionaire's house, and basically destroying the whole place, wrecking it. And uh, this is a 
difficult thing that a daughter or a son of those millionaire parents would tell them upon their arrival home. They'd be standing in the doorway and they'd be going like, what on earth is going on here? What did you do to our house? And then the son or the daughter would respond with, the, with this type of sentence. I just posted a notification on Facebook is all. <laughs> you know, not that it would be very helpful in this situation where there's damage of hundreds and maybe of thousands of dollars being done, but that's the only thing that a son or daughter could tell their parents, you know what I mean? I just posted a notification on Facebook is all. I couldn't have possibly known that this would be the end result of my action. I didn't realize it was... Uh, going to be visible to everyone. I, th I thought I posted that only to my friends, but somehow or another Facebook made that notification visible to the whole world. So blame Facebook, not me! Leave me alone! And then the, the child storms off and the parents are left to take care of the devastation, you know. But anyway, this is a typical sentence you can use whenever you have to provide an explanation, maybe it's just an excuse, maybe you're not being genuine, maybe you're not being truthful, maybe you are concealing some facts, so it's a typical excuse as well. I'm just saying is all, this is another typical example, you know, you're saying something and then the other person accuses you of, why did you say that to me, or don't blame me for that, it's not my fault, or whatever, and then you're saying, I'm just saying is all. You know, so basically that little part is all kind of emphasizes that you're being totally defensive and uh, it's got nothing to do with you. Surely I didn't know anything. Don't get me involved. Like, I'm just saying is all. And uh, yeah, that's my 25th American phrase. And uh, thanks for watching, my friends. And see you tonight on my accent at com blog where I'm going to be looking at the 26th American phrase, and I'll be speaking with a general American accent. Take care. Bye.